So here is the power supply. Uh, as you can see, the meters have been removed. One of those died, so I decided to replace all of them with these uh, cheap digital meters that you get from eBay. Um, they look pretty good. Probably the accuracy is not the best in the world, but what can you do? And obviously, I was like, how am I going to put those in there? Especially with the faceplate because here the faceplate goes over like this and then you got that type of space so I 3D printed this it's pretty nice these holes were slightly uh, too small so I had to drill them a bit to get the M.2.5 M thread in there just like the original ones um, there's no space ready to screw in these ones so I'll just be doing the bottom ones there's three there I know you see four there but that's that's something weird that was for some other model probably when they made it and as you can see it fits perfectly let's change the light there a bit. There you go, and there's the end result. Looks pretty good. So, one shitty design about these things is that obviously these are like supposed to grip whatever enclosure you put it in, but to begin with, they don't even go down. Literally, you can't even push them down because, well, somewhere inside there, these are right, oh, there you go, are right up against the seven segment display. So, I don't know if they expect the actual enclosure to flex while you put it in. Um, and I didn't really, um, I knew about this problem before I designed this. But I was like, fuck it, I'll solve it now. So what I've th just basically thought of is here's a broken version that I've used. I broke them out and it slides in perfectly. And then I'll just put a little bit of super glue in the corners and bam. So there you can see it fits perfectly. Real nice. That's what it's like from the back. There'll be three of them, of course. And then I'll just dab some super glue in there. Hopefully these things will survive so I don't have to one day take them out and I don't know, break it. But hey, I've got the file so I can always just reprint another one. Even though this took, I think, about like six hours, I'm guessing. Here you can see the 3D print with the faceplate. It fits perfectly. A little bit too tight. Like it doesn't even come out, but it still fits really nice. I got the original idea from... Look. From philipsradios.nl or transistorforum.nl, I changed. And here he basically cut a piece of metal and then just screwed them on there he had to drill these holes these aren't here naturally you can see those holes were drilled um, and that was a bit more work you can even see he had to cut out these brackets down here to fit them in and I was like nah I don't want to do too much metal work because that's um that's just a bit too much work so yeah, I 3D printed this. I also like the idea that in his version, when you put the faceplate on, there's like, you can see like a slight bit of space, which I don't want. I like this. Like the original was like this, where a little bit came out, which is cool. So yeah, fits perfectly. The screws line up perfect as well. And here you can basically see the end result. It's coming out a little bit because it's not screwed in. Pretty good. Gonna look pretty nice. So the main thing stopping me from finishing this project are these screws are a bit too short, so the nuts won't reach. Well, the the thread won't reach the end of this, so I can't put a nut at the end of it. And I basically need to find out where I can get five volts for this device. Um, I don't exactly know what's sitting at the rectifier capacitor. And then I just need to make some contacts. 
All right, so one of the steps I have to do is I have to separate this ground track so I can put the current shunt in between this track. And I'm going to have to do it for all three outputs. Alright, so um, here are basically three of the four wires we need to put in the digital meters. Um, the black and the red wires are just cut in between the ground, as you can see here, the ground. The blue wire is voltage sense, which is the 5 volt, oh, pardon me, the positive. And we just have three of them. So on the ground, I just cut the track between the return and the actual leg. Then this is going to run into the shunt of the digital meter and then just run back. As for the power supply, I'm going to put Zeno regulators on the rectification capacitors. I'm going to just have a simple diode with the resistor and then a 5 volt, um, pardon me, the 12 volt wire running to the digital meter. So here are um, the Zener regulators. I only have two of them since this one is only 16 volts on the output. These two are 32 volts, so they need to be dropped down a bit. Um, that's about it. Now I'm going to um, crimp the wires so the connectors can fit onto the back of these. I also got some nice long screws. And yeah, almost done. Alright, here are the wires that are coming out. We got the current sense, voltage sense, and power. Same for the other two. Okay, so I've now completed the connections to the meters. There's the connectors. There's the meters, and let's turn it on. Okay, pretty good. Gonna drop that voltage. Yeah, looks like it works. All right, so now that it's working, I'm gonna screw this back to the faceplate, then bolt the PCB to the faceplate and finally screw the faceplate to the frame or well, I should say the frame plate because the faceplate is over there okay so it's basically fully put back together just need to put the cases back on pardon me the, the shell so here we go okay. it's pretty good now, I don't know why these currents are popping up here. I have a feeling that um, some current is flowing through the circuit just to keep it running because these potentiometers were tied to ground when I was um, basically breaking the contact there. But yeah, it works. It's not um, super like responsive, but hey, the the meters <laughs> were ridiculously cheap, so I'm pretty sure the sampling frequency is not <laughs> something magical. But I guess it does the job. I haven't tested the current yet, but I hope it works. I should go to seven. Yeah, I should go to twenty, roughly. Oh. Yeah, I'll check it out though. Oh, 
All right, looks good. All right, there it is. Basically complete. I haven't fully tested it, but it's a bit rough inside, I'll be honest. There's a few um, kinks and someone's definitely worked on it and did a bad job, <laughs> besides me. <laughs> but yeah. Definitely, um, you know, not as aesthetic as the meters, but hey, I wasn't gonna go hunting for these new meters or second hand new meters. But I think it's a very good fix. Um, well, I hope you guys like this video. Um, uh, if you guys really want to do this to your power supply, I can put 3D print file or the, the .stl file online for you guys. Alright, that's a super quick project. Took me a few hours, not including the 3D print. The 3D print was probably the most time consuming part of this project. Designing it took me a uh, few days just you know making sure the spacing was right the holes were right all of that I'm surprised that it was fitting on the first print which is great anyways cheers guys